It was around three o'clock on a warm spring Thursday when seemingly out of nowhere the walls of fire closed in on us and wiped out everything we owned in an instant. In one single sweeping, raging moment we lost it all. Our home, my sacred music room filled with instruments, many guitars, more than a decade's worth of notebooks full of lyrics, poetry and journals, the kitchen, the bedroom, childhood photos. Think of every minuscule physical detail of our life, everything was irreversibly gone, defeated by the scorching flames. Well, almost everything. I had been sitting on the back porch strumming on Gilda, my beloved and beaten 1963 12-string guitar, so by a sheer miracle I was holding her when we were evacuated from the approaching walls of fire. The fact that nobody got hurt in the flames and we had our health was what we held on to. However initially there was denial, paralysis, the inability to process what had even happened. It was so much to grasp, it happened so fast as did the reaction from the wider community as a whole. It was quite literally overwhelming. With no homes to go back to, and no wardrobe other than the clothes on my back, no wallet or an ID, I had to become good at accepting, fast. I learnt more about life than I ever had. As it turns out, the act of taking and being open to accepting help is as essential a part of the human experience as giving is and mirroring humankind, they depend on each other to coexist. I was even given my first writing book. It's green, I'm writing in it right now. I began writing like I'd literally never written before. And Gilda was right there, raw and real, fueling me with chords and making musical magic. She hasn't stopped since. She told me that the scope of colours and emotion with which I'm able to write were deep inside of me, if I was prepared to just get out of the way. She became my tool to re-establish my connection to life, far away from the obstacle of material loss. I don't know how I got so lucky that when all else was burnt to a crisp, this beautiful instrument of light shone bright for me, and she hasn't stopped writing since, song after song after song. On May the 23rd, 2020, Gilda will be yours.